Hi everybody. As promised, we're going to talk about thermoforming or vacuforming today. Um, and the, the project is um, this little cover plate that goes on the underside of the pick guard. And you can see it's held on with a few screws. Uh, it has a little recess in it so that the knob can stick out. Right? Um, a little cutaway here. And otherwise, it just screws down tight to the bottom side of the pick guard, covers up the electronics, and makes a neat job of it. So here's a couple of tests from the last batch, uh, one in a different color. This had a wrinkle in it here, so this is a failed part. Uh, wrinkles could be a problem, can be a problem. Um, here's, here's the part that we're uh, going to make. And this is a, a piece of 1 16th inch thick, uh, so it's 1.5 millimeters Kydex, it's called, it's a brand name. And what it is is a combination of um, acrylic and PVC plastics. And it's great at, um, at thermoforming. And you'll recognize it uh, for, for being every piece of your airplane seat, the trade table, the overhead bins, all these things are, are thermoformed um, from uh, Kydex or Kydex-like material. And the nice thing about it is that you need only a simple mold to, uh, to, to make a part. So you don't need a... You don't need a fancy machine mold. The, the temperatures are low. I believe it flows around 150, 160 Fahrenheit. Um, and all, so all we've done is create a mahogany plug. And um, it's taller than it needs to be so that, um, so that we're not concerned with getting the part all the way down uh, in here. It's hard for the kydex to stretch all the way into a sharp corner. So that's why it's tall. And then this piece of plywood over here is just a kind of a surface that it can extend to. Um, we don't need this part of it here. Uh, this will get trim, trimmed back. But uh, it gives the, the kydex a place to go and stay relatively flat. So you can see there's, there's saw cuts underneath here. And then um, there's a piece of vacuum cleaner um, fitting here and this is some sticky vacuum tape that I used to seal it. I mean you could use other things. Um, you can see there was a little struggle here but uh, anyway so <laughs> but this this seals pretty well and and it works out okay. So we start with um, this piece of material and it goes it goes in this frame that that we made and um, so this, this gets uh, screwed down so that it grabs the material all the way around. And then we're going to heat it up. So the, the cool thing about this is that the, it is kind of a vacuum bagging operation. But as you can see, the bag and the part are the same thing. So um, when we push the frame down over this tool, uh, it's going to it's going to seal on this uh, area, um, the flat area here, and um, the vacuum is going to help to uh, to pull the material down over the tool shape. Okay, so we're going to put all this stuff together and uh, make a part for you. All right, so here we are, set up, ready to pull apart. So I've got this uh, tool clamped in the vise and the vacuum cleaner, shop vac, nothing fancy, uh, hooked up to this part. So we can turn that on when we're, when we're ready to go. Now, this tool, um, this is, by the way, just um, uh, some square tubing I bought at the hardware store. Um, and we bolted it together. So this is a hot plate here. It's a, you know, kind of scientific-y piece of gear. And we got it cranked to 600 Fahrenheit. Now, you can see that 
the material is, <laughs> is bubbling up now. It's still hard, not that hot to, to the touch. It takes quite a while for the heat to migrate into the material, more than you'd think maybe, considering that you know, this surface is 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And, uh, yeah, so. So now um, we see that the, the kydex is getting soft, a little bit soft. Um, and, uh, but it has to be quite soft in order, in order to, uh, to thermoform properly. So we're going to wait until it sags a little bit more. And then we'll turn on the vacuum cleaner and uh, see if we can get a good part. So 150 degrees Fahrenheit is a little bit too hot to touch. Not way too hot. Usually we think 140 is about is about all we can handle without feeling like we're getting burned. So that's, that's one way you can kind of get close by saying, oh wow, that's getting pretty hot. We don't want it too hot, but we'd need it pretty floppy in order to make this deep part. still quite hot. The, the heat in this part is going to hold on for quite a while. And, uh, this is the part, if we have a failure, it'll be because it's wrinkled here. But this looks good good part. We just have to wait for it to cool down and uh, we'll load up another one. Not too bad.